Hello, today I'm here to do a video for you guys on how I store my hats. Um, I think about two, maybe two and a half years ago, I did a hat storage video, um, which I will leave a link for over here. And at that point in time, I was storing a lot of my hats on the wall, um, which was really nice because they are easy to see and it kind of functions also as a little bit of decor. Um, unfortunately, there's a couple of problems with that one. If you uh, are renting, your landlord might not be so excited about having that many holes in the walls. Um, most of them are okay with no holes, um, but when we were moving out of that apartment, I felt really bad about how many nail holes, even though we were allowed to put nails in the wall. Um, the other problem is is that they can get very dusty, um, and if you have them hanging somewhere where they can get direct sunlight, um, that can actually cause some fading, again, because of that sun. So, um, when we moved um, out of that apartment to the apartment, the last apartment we had in Ohio before we moved to Florida, I wanted to find some way that I could um, store my hats that might be protect them a little bit better and also keep me from having to put all those holes in the wall because I do have a ton a ton of hats. So what I found are these little um, I guess they're like fabric boxes and they got these cool little windows in them. Um, I believe they're designed to go like under the bed for you to store whatever clothes shoes in them. Um, and so I got a big one, and I also have two smaller ones like this. They came in a set, and I got them off Amazon. They were pretty cheap. I liked it because it had the window, so I could kind of visually and see what was in there a little bit. And also, they've got, um, they're kind of stiff, so that I could stack them without worrying about it crushing the hats. I mean, if you, like, if you stood on it, it would crush your hats. Um, but, you know, just the weight of the other box is not going to kill it. Okay, and let me show you what the inside of the box kind of looks like. And you can see they're kind of piled in there. Um, you do want to be careful if any of them have any uh, thing that's delicate, like say some kind of decoration. This one here has a little fruit on a stick that might be a little bit more delicate, or if there's any kind of feathers or anything, to be really careful about how you um, stack those in the box so they're not going to get squashed. Um, and so you always want to make sure you can have more space rather than less. If you have some hats that are more of the same size, you can stack them kind of like this to save a little bit of space in there. Okay. I do have one hat over here that I keep out, and that is this hat, which... Um, is a reproduction that I made of a hat that Lady, Wary, Lady Mary wears in the first season of Downton Abbey. Um, so it's a costume hat, it's a modern piece, um, and I'm not as worried about it getting damaged. And it's also kind of big, so um, it takes up a lot of spaces in the box. Okay, so this is one area that I store my hats, and I'm going to take you over to my closet where I have a couple of other different areas where I'm stored. Okay, so here's hat. my closet. I have this giant tub here that is also full of hats. Um, this is a tub that we had had and I thought it would be really excellent for packing my hats when I was moving because it was really sturdy and I wouldn't have to worry about it getting crushed like I might with a cardboard box. And then I decided I really liked it for hats so I kept it. Um, and this box I keep my less favorite hats, the one I don't wear as often, the ones that might be a little bit more seasonally specific. Um, I have a couple hats just hanging out right here. These are the, I actually have two hats there that I picked out for the 40s fashion calendar project um, to have to wear with that so that those are super handy. I don't usually leave hats out here. The other thing, place I keep hats is I have this amazing red circle vintage suitcase. And let me see if I can get you guys to see what's in there. Oh, hats. So I have three hats stacked in here. There's a black one, a kind of straw one, and way underneath there's a kind of a 
more magenta hat. And these are like my big sun hats. And so they fit really well into this red circle container. They can sit flat and not get crushed. And it was also a great for moving because it's in this nice sturdy suitcase and I didn't have to worry about them getting damaged. Although I was storing hats in here before we moved. Okay, so that's all of the places that I store my hats. Um, I do kind of plan on eventually moving some of the hats onto the wall because I really like that idea, um, but we're not gonna be in this place for more than a year. So I think I'm just gonna kind of hold off for that and um, then start to put my hats back on the wall when we get someplace a little bit more permanent. Um, and I would probably want to do maybe no more than 10 or so on the wall, just the ones I really, really love that I wear all the time. So, um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about hats, um, about how to store them or anything like that, please leave a question down in the comment section and I'll get back to you.